Minister Juan here, he gave me his testimony. He was a Baptist preacher, Baptist pastor. And he heard the truth of God message of holiness. Went down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ and Minister Harris baptized him. And uh, he left the Baptist organization and started taking the stand for holiness. And he said, you know, I consider you my pastor. I said, all right, well, we'll get a chance to talk to him some more. He also desired the walk of the truth of the gospel. This is a tight walk. Every preacher, every pastor, every elder, I don't care what you call yourself, God only have one church. One people. One doctrine to govern his church. Man have set up religion, theology, philosophy, various teachings to appeal to the wickedness of the human family. Not to change the human family because the Lord says, if they have stood in my counsel and have caused my people to hear my word, then he would have turned them from the evil of their way and from the evil of their doing. The problem with the churches, you're not hearing God's word. You're hearing the word of some old reverend, some old Jerry Curl head false prophet. You're hearing seminary school messages. Theology have corrupt church, have crept in church and have rearranged church until the thinking of God, the intelligence of God, the standard of God, the way of God have been moved out of church and the ways of men have took over because it feels better, sounds better, put a bigger smile on your face, encourage you to ignore sin, that you believe in you're going to heaven anyhow. You know, when I came out of falsehood, Amen. that was a song we used to sing. You know, you can sing a lot quick as you can tell one. Amen. Amen. Song we used to sing, I'm going to heaven anyhow. Amen. Ain't nobody going to heaven anyhow. Amen. In fact, it's more easier to go to hell. Yeah. Someone say, what, Pastor Jennings? I'm living all I know. Wonderful. But it's more easier to be lost yeah. than to be saved. Yeah. Think of it. Yeah. Glory to God. How many things did Adam do to get put out to God? One. How many? One. To go back with God he spoke by the Apostle Paul, born in Tarsus in the city of Cilicia, set under the feet of Gamaliel, who taught him according to the perfect manner of the law. And Gamaliel himself was a doctor of the law, a Pharisee, meaning a believer of the spirit world. The Apostle Paul came out the first tribe that gave Israel their king. He was a Benjamite. Came out the tribe of Benjamin, who was the youngest son of Jacob. Amen. Grandson of Isaac and great grandson of Abraham. The apostle Paul was made an apostle. Amen. Called and sent by God, not elected by a board of directors. He said, I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles. Being made an apostle, his information was given to him from God, yeah. not from the university, no, not from the college, no, not from seminary school. No, Being that he had information from God, everywhere he went, he brought people the thoughts of God yeah. that was opposite from what Paul would bring. Yeah. 
You know, that's what God do to his preacher. He make him bring what he normally wouldn't bring. In fact, he make him preach against his own self. Anytime a man say he's of God and he don't preach against himself, he's of the devil. Are you listening? Glory to God. Hey, hallelujah. Glory to God. Every God sin preacher preach against himself. For the apostle Paul said, when I would do good, evil is present. And he was an apostle. What you mean, Paul? When I would do good, my will is present. My feelings is present. What I think is present. Amen. So what I got to do, the same thing that God didn't put in me, I have to bring myself under subjection, lest I be cast away. Holy. What do you mean, lest you be a castaway? You know, when you are on a ship and your ship get wrecked, you are a castaway. You're stranded. So when Paul say, lest I be cast away, lest I be stranded. But when you're stranded, you're stranded left somewhere. Stranded where? In hell. So I know many of you that are watching now, you don't like me, and I don't care if you don't. I'm not trying to win a popularity contest with nobody. I'm sent to do the will of him. I'm not sent to do the will of them. I'm sent to do the will of him that sent me. Holiness is the way of God. Amen. Holiness yeah. is the thoughts of God. Yeah. Holiness yeah. is the teaching of God. Yeah. I just want to answer the millions of questions. What is holiness? Is that a new religion? No, 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 no. Holiness is older than the universe itself. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It ain't no religion can make that claim. Every religion was started by some man. Holiness had no start. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right, listen to the old man. That's right. Holiness had no beginning. No beginning. God, before the foundation of the world, meaning before the world was, he purposed for man to be holy. You better... Go to work in the book of Ephesians. I just want to itemize this. What is holiness? Amen. You know, many apostolics was criticizing me first for using it, but now they starting to use it. Oh, and said holiness and apostolic is the same thing. Well, if it was... Then I can read holiness, but I can't read apostolic. That's right. Holiness is the thinking of God for man's behavior. That man's behavior may be transformed and he reflect the characteristics of God. He think the thoughts of God. And he live according to the purpose of God. Are you listening? That's, right. That's how God chose us in him. in him. All right, let's go to work, William. Let's establish what is holiness, mm -hmm. and then let's establish who is holy. That's right. Are you listening? In the book of Ephesians chapter 1. All right, viewers, you get around your television and your computer, amen, tell your girlfriend, being that she's already there, she might as well just stay around a little bit longer to hear this. And, and then after she's done, then holiness will tell her what to do. That's right. Bishop, you that got your second wife, you and your second wife might as well gather around the campfire that burn holiness. That's right. You'll find out what holiness have in store for you and your adulterous husband. Amen. You that profess all these religions and you brag about being Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, 
Lutheran, Branhamites, Hittites, Jubasites, Amakites, Goodwinites, Hunanites, Johnsonites, and some fools declare themselves even to be Jennonites. I want to kill everybody. That's right. Huh? That's right. Non-denominational, Pentecostal, Jehovah Witnesses, Five Percenters, Mormons, Muslims, whatever you claim. Amen. My question is to the world, who started you? That's right. Amen. Who came with this authority to make this first declaration and then told you to be what you are? That's right. Did it come from heaven? How is it that everybody claimed to be the children of God, but yet very few wants to be what God is? That's right. Amen. To my Hebrew Israelite brothers, is God a Hebrew? Hmm. Oh, Pastor Jenny, you say Jesus Christ is God. Jesus was a Hebrew, came out of the tribe of Judah. That's right. But was God a Hebrew? Jesus Christ was God, and God was not a Hebrew. The Son of God, his flesh, that body was a Hebrew, came out the tribe of Judah, but God is before Hebrews. That's right. Before there was any Jews, God was here. That's right. And then God made a child in David's house. And by her making a child in David's house, now the Son of God is called Son of Man. What you mean, Son of Man? The man is David, and David was the father of Jesus. That's right. Come on, say what? Yeah. David was Jesus' That's father? Yes. In the book of St. Luke, chapter 1 and verse 32. Follow me in your Bible. Well, I thought Jesus didn't have no fire, father, earthly father. He did and he didn't. That's right. He didn't have no earthly father by a man laying with Mary, but he had an earthly father by coming from a descendant. That's right. Glory to God. I want to take my time and soak you. Amen. Let's go to school now. Book of Luke Let's get some one. Bible. Let's see, get, listen at this. Luke chapter 1, we'll start at verse 31. Parliament. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb. Thou shalt conceive in thy womb, Frank, the son. son. And shalt call his name Jesus. Yeah. He shall be great. He shall be great. And shall be called the son of the highest. Shall be called the son of the eternal father. That's right. Hey, that just hit you, didn't it? Did it again, he shall be called what? He shall be called the son of the highest. He shall be called the son of the eternal father. The highest is the eternal father. The eternal father is God. God is Jehovah. Jehovah is the I am. That's right. Mary wasn't God mother. No. Mary was the mother of the earthly tabernacle that God was in. That's right. The earthly tabernacle was a body. Right. The body was a house. The house was a man child. That's the right. man child was human, and the spirit that was in it was divine. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? He shall be great. He shall be great. And shall be called the son of the high. And what? And the Lord God shall give look unto him. Look at here. Look at here. Look at here. And the Lord the God, Lord God shall, shall give unto him, him the throne of who? Of his father, David. Gonna give him what? And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father, David. That's what the title son of man means. That's right. Son of man. <laughs> That's right. He come from the house of a prophet. That's right. And that man was David. David. Yeah. All right, let's go back to Ephesians. Now I want to take my time and itemize this holy business. <laughs> That's right. Come on, William. In the book of Ephesians chapter 1 and we're at verse 4. Solomon. According as he hath chosen us in him. Hold it. Hold it. I just can't read this stuff. I see too much. That's right. Let's itemize it precept upon precept, and then we got to do it the way the word advises it. That's he right. He said line upon line. Upon line. Upon line. So that means you just can't read one line and keep going. Yeah. You got to look at it line upon line. upon line. And then when you look at it line upon line, you got to break it down here a little and there a little. And there a little. Listen at this. 
in Ephesians 1 and verse 4. That's what? According as he. Hold up. That let you know it's one. That's right. He. Not according to as they. According as he. According to as he. He who God. That's right. Has did what? Has chosen, chosen us. or selected the human family. In him. In him. Before the foundation of the world. That what? That we should be holy. Yes. All right. yes. Holiness. Holy, holy. Holy. It's before the world was. That's right. All of my guests that are here from various religions, Catholics, Episcopalians, Protestants, Klansmen, Black Panthers, yeah. Nation of Islam, Mormon, Muslims, yes. Masons, Elks, Eastern Stars, Falling Stars. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Whatever you want to call yourself. Who is the founder of your religion? That's right. Did God speak to your founder and gave your founder his religion? When God give out anything for the people to live by. Yeah. He tell the people to search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. Amen. Why do he tell us to search the scriptures? To verify. That's right. To certify. That's right. And after you verify and certify, now you can justify. That's right. Eh? That's right. You go to scripture to certify it, to justify it, and you get all your information from scripture. You know, there's a lot of people write me and get angry because I run to scripture for everything. For everything. Some say you're mighty narrow-minded. You're so narrow-minded. Why don't you go to the library? I, I think about no library. No. You mean to tell me the intelligence of God ain't good enough for me? Amen. 